I'm gleasing myself right now. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, give me that Galisi. 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 <clears throat> Gagisis. <sighs> we live yet? Um, we're in the pre-stage of oh, live dumb. Yes. Oh, Galisi. Mark, are you going to still pick that dry skin on your face and eat it? It's not a... It's a scratch that but, I thought was maybe a, a dried up piece of snot. But it's actually a scratch. Thank you. But can you at least explain that I was watching you and you actually picked something off of your face no, and then ate I it? Was, I was rubbing it with my finger and then I'm like, I thought it was maybe like a dried piece of snot. So I licked my finger to make it wet to rub it off. But then rub. after you did that, you put your finger back in your mouth. Yes. No, I put my finger in my mouth only once. After you picked something off of your face and there, it wasn't no. a finger. It was two fingers together like you were holding something and then you put it in your mouth. <laughs> I shit you not, that's exactly what happened. First of all, there's nothing wrong with eating skin. Well, at least admit it. Perfectly healthy. Look, right. When in doubt, just say Galisi. 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 Here we... Galisi. Galisi. Go, Galisi. <laughs> Minute intro. Twenty minute intro. Hmm, that was lovely, wasn't it? Did you like that mock? I loved it. It was the b -b 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 best. Yo, 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 yo. Too soon for that. I'm vaping on something that's pretty loud tonight. I just want to tell everybody I apologize before the show starts, but I can't control myself. You don't know how to vape. That's why it's loud. What can I tell you? I suck. Relax when you vape. Just relax. I'm trying to like win a cloud comp every time I take a pull. It sounds like it. That, it's because in the beginning of the vape team, when we used to compete with the Iron Lung down there, he used to take pulls on like Nautilus tanks and stuff, and we used to have to try to beat him, and he'd still win. Khaleesi. Thank you. Let's do the intro. <laughs> We're still waiting for this fucking intro. What the fuck? The show's halfway over. Might as well play the outro. Fuck it. We are live, 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 fucking live. Thursday night, everybody. Welcome back to the vape team, the fucking great team. Yeah, we're back at it again. 10 p.m. for that ass, Cloud Entertainment, and we've arrived again. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'd like to say good evening. Good evening. So first off, we'd like to give a shout out to Galisi. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Glacy. Uh, feels good to be back. I'm feeling much better. Thank you, everybody, for the well wishes. I was under the weather for a couple days, but uh, yeah, it feels so good to be back. And uh, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Steve, who's in chat tonight. He's going to be uh, watching over the chat. So big shout out to Steve. He's sitting in the corner over there. Mike got him a new chair, so I'm, I hope his back feels better. And. Uh, yeah, th this is a special night. So before we do the uh, the and the you know buffet action, I'd like to really congratulate somebody who has 
somewhat grown up a little bit, and we're going to see how long this lasts. The last time we made Mark a full member, I think he lasted 30 seconds. So we're going to see if we have some gro a growth here. Obviously, he's blowing somewhat. Look at these fucking O's, man. They're fucking tight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, our, our little boy in red, the lady in red tonight, is a full member once again. So congratulations, Mark. That you're, won't last long, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're a full member. And with that, let's start off with a little bit of this. It's that I time. I would have prepared a speech if I knew ahead of time, but what just Mark? What just happened? There was some kind of. Yep. All you can vape, vape off a time. Brought to you by. Golly, <laughs> <laughs> see. Uh, let's see. We got the triple boxer with the bacon tits, fat cock RDA. We got the. Oh, I always forget the name. I think it's the OJ mods. Yes, OJ mods with the digit flavor. Small RDA. We'll just call it the small. The hold on. And it can something. Mark, with, can I just say something real quick? I'm gonna interrupt. Take it away. In order for you to be a full member, you have to say everything you're vaping on that is on the approved list perfectly. You might as well just fucking take my membership now because All right everybody. Well congratulations. We have a new <laughs> special guest this evening. <laughs> Vaped Vagan. The Inakin something with the uh, what you call it, the Aquitas RDA. That's that. That's actually the drop dead that you just showed. This is not the. Is it the drop dead? No, it's not the Aquitas. That's the Aquitas. Thank you. I just double check and making sure you know. Uh, this plastic mod with the uh, Loop 1.5, the new UL whatever it's called with the uh, Cube sub ohm tank, and then the very strange looking. <laughs> sailboat as they call it with the i don't know what tank that is on top vape boy uh, just donated two dollars he said mark sticks gleases up his butt thank you very <laughs> much shotgun. we got some cloud chemist frosty science we got some uh strawberry cheesecake <clears throat> and we got some uh syntax and then we got some of the ghost stick because i am vaping on a pod the lawn or LAN, whatever, mini, micro. That looks slip. like a nail file. It does look like a nail file. It looks like a lot of things, actually. It's a tongue suppressor. Uh, it looks it, like a lot of things. But... Pregnancy tester? Actually, yeah, it does. You can kind of pee on it. Mm -hmm. I should actually take a pee on it. But go ahead, Brian. Take it away. Well, thanks for that thorough buffet, Mark. You're always Thank wonderful you. at, you know, whatchamacallits and so on and so forth. So we appreciate it. Um <laughs> I am vaping on the beautiful Inikin Proton mod. Yes, I got the Inikin. Love this thing. Beautiful, gorgeous, sexy. Um, also vaping on the... What do I have here? Oh, this came in the mail today. I just built it before the show tonight. This is the brand new SQ21700. How fucking gorgeous is that? Limited edition, limited edition. You know who also is limited edition? Sir Phenom. Brian, can you please mute your phone during a show? I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, let me do that right now. So I apologize, Mark. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, so I got the uh, the 21700SQ, and man, it's it's first of all, it's gorgeous, but second of all, it hits hard as shit. So oh. I, have, I have the flavorful yet somewhat loud Reload X on top of it. Go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, was say, I thought you were going to get into a review. This is a buffet, not a review, but go ahead. Um, yeah, so this is the limited edition. This SQ is gorgeous. Reload X on top. Love it. Sexy as hell. Um, what else am I vaping on? I got... I don't really think this matches. I tried to match it up before the show tonight. That's the one problem with white RDAs. This is the bloody mess. Drop dead. And the problem is, it's hard to find a matching match for white. It just is. Maybe Mike could figure something like that out. Actually, this would probably go really well on the Proton. Yep, see, there you go. There you go. I should put it on the Proton next time. Anyway, so yeah, I'm vaping on that. Uh, I also have the Hermaphrodite Hermetic sitting on top of the recurve. A little bit of that action this evening. And I got a, a fresh bottle of Hit That Donut Boston Cream that I'm going to be using tonight. I love that. Uh, also have these little guys because I ran out of Nick Salt. I ordered uh, the Orion the other day. Um, so that'll be coming probably for me, Siggity, maybe in like two days. So I'm looking forward to that. So for the time being, I'm using disposables. Bitten, not stirred. 
What the fuck is that thing? It's the mojo. Get your mojo back with mojo. Why does that thing look so big? What do you mean big? I already just have it so close to the camera. It just yeah. looks like odd. It looks... Dude, it's little. It's like fucking... Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. So I got the mojo. Some pineapple menthol or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm also vaping on this. This is actually pretty tasty. This is the Tribes Limited Edition. 12 Tribes. It's called Dan. Dan. It's, it's a sugar flakes, like a frosted flakes type of thing. So I'm vaping on that this evening. And that is actually filled up in this, which is the Nova with the Alpha. And if you guys like uh, mesh sub ohm tanks, this might be exactly what you're looking for because this is probably the sec. It, um, no, it not is the it is the sexiest sub ohm tank with mesh coils on the market, I believe. So the Alpha, and that is it. We got a whole bunch of shit coming up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save some stuff for a little bit later. But Mike, it's that time again, my friend. It's buffet time. Buffet time. Buffet time. It's buffet time. Okay, what are we vaping on, Mikey? Mike. We are vaping on uh, la, la, top side with the drop. Vaping on that. Nova with the alpha. Oh. <laughs> Nabu engine V2. Smoant Nabu. Vaping on the Druga Foxy or Og Vape Foxy Roxy. Foxy Roxy with the drop dead. We are also vaping on 21700SQ with the Rebirth RDA. Little proton action going on. Yeah, buddy. Uh, timber! I just knocked over everything here. Nice. Have Steve clean it up. Steve, come over here. Help me out, please. Thank you. Ah, fuck it. Everything fell down. Anyway, I'm vaping on this here. A little bit of that right there, just in case. Vaping on that. Doing a little pod system action. Some Joe Turner's Raspberry Custard. Joe. We got some Blue Pucker. Oh, hey, yo. What happened there? What else are you vaping on, Mike? I don't even know. God bless you. And a little bit of this right here. And a little bit of that right there. And some of this right here. And this, mm. and this, mm. and the tip over mod. <laughs> is that old film from a camera? This is the tip over mod right here. Sailboat. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what I'm vaping on. Take it away, Sid. All right, Sid. I wanted to say fuck you, Mark, for the bag of shit I never got. I waited and I waited. I waited and I waited. Dude, Sid's going to kick your asses. Uh, dude, I love Sid. If you ever want to get somebody to look into something deeper, like mod related, mm -hmm. he will get not only into the mod, but he'll get into the company behind the mod, and then the owners of the company behind the company behind the mod, and he goes deeper and deeper, and he, he, like, he won't sleep for like 72 hours, and he'll send you like a selfie of him next to his computer with the answers you're looking for, and he, yep. he'll look all strung out. So thank you, Sid, for your commitment. He'll even try to get inside you if you, <laughs> if you give him a chance. Here we go. Has he done that to you, Mark? He has many times. Beautiful. So, <clears throat> this week, I don't know if you guys, well, do any of you, like, and I'm speaking to mostly you guys in chat, do any of you guys, like, are you on Twitter at all? Twitter? It, if you're into, like, updates from CASA, if you're into updates from any of the advocacy groups, if you're into uh, hearing maybe information from the FDA or on hearing posts from the CDC or the World Health Organization or any of the, the groups that release information, uh, Twitter has been a place of information, but it's been kind of um, a little disheartening for the past couple weeks. So, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I think Suck My Mod had a, a good show the other night on what's going on, and uh, a lot of people have been sort of given, you know, kind of the, their interpretation. I don't think anybody knows what's going to happen. I really don't. I think it's so up in the air. Uh, I'd like to think that the FDA has a plan of action that we just don't know about yet, but wouldn't it be nice to know the answers? We just got a donation from DJ Bear OH, $5. He said, I wanted to know when doing firmware updates for the top side, is the update available for both Mac and PC or just one uh, just one of those? For some reason, I think that the, it's just PC and then they have like a, I don't know, virtual PC update for Mac or something like that, I think. 
I'll have to ask my contact. I don't have a Mac, so I can't even test it. I'm not a Mac vape. Mark, are you a Mac guy? Yes, sir. Big Mac? Big Mac, fucking Apple Mac, you name it. Little Mac? Punch Black out Mac? Mac? I'm all about Macs. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be really interesting uh, to see what happens. I mean, there, there were some talks. Well, first of all, I guess I don't want to start any kind of discussion that doesn't have firm answers or anything like that. So this will just be a talk about things. But one thing that scared the shit out of me when the, when they were started talking about online vape sale bans. Any thoughts on that? Oh, Mark? Well, you can, I mean, they did it with cigarettes, right? You can't buy cigarettes online. <laughs> it's true. Why is that funny? No, it is. Laughing, Mark. It is very true. It's conversation we're having here. I mean, if that's like the... Is that like the biggest... Like, if that's the... That's not... I don't know. Be honest with you, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I brought the question up to you. <laughs> he has no idea what we're talking about. Uh, okay, I'm going to focus. Think, all right, I'll take it away then. I think it's a little too soon uh, to be worried about this. I think it's just something that he just threw up there, said that just to uh, to basically uh, for other bigger wigs that are out there to hear. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's going to happen. Personally. And if it does happen, we're talking about it could take years for it to happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's fucked up if it does happen. The the thing with cigarettes is like cigarette companies are so consolidated. There's so few of them. It's very easy to regulate that industry. And it's so closely tied with government that it's easy for them to regulate. Vaping is so wide open. The only way they could ever enforce such things would be to consolidate all the companies have a, a very limited groups of power and then to bring them into the, into the picture. And I, I, I do see that potentially happening. Um, the only problem is, is that we live in a world that's not just closed borders now, right? So online is not just the United States. Online is global. So anybody from around the world uh, have online vape sales banned in your country? And if so, what, what, do you, what has stopped the influx of products? Well, the thing I never understood about, buying cigarettes online you can't buy cigarettes online but you can buy tobacco online which i never understood that it's not easy to implement that ban no. i was i agree i mean would it be like <clears throat> you just can't buy nicotine products online but you could still buy i mean uh, it's another one of those things where, is, like, they just threw that out there was no nothing written down for it you know so it's not like i think it's all fear-mongering it all has to do with what they were talking about before, banning flavors. It also has to do with what they said to the big five companies, Jewel and all the other ones. It all has to do with all that. They just want to scare to see what will happen, how we could prevent, what the game plan, plan is to prevent underage vaping. Also, the other thing that's interesting is, I mean, so say the ban works and like U.S., they, they, they fine online shops that are located and based in the United States, they find them such huge amounts of money if they continue to stay open that they end up shutting their doors, right? All that's going to do is take all this money and put it to overseas companies like 3F Ape, Heaven's Gifts, and all this kind of stuff, right? So everyone's going to start shopping at those stores. And then they're going to start sending that those products to the United States as they do now. And do you think that they're going to be able to search these packages to make sure that the products are vape supplies versus electric shavers versus USB drives versus, I mean, do you know how many electronic components come from overseas every single day to be able to pick, it would be like finding a needle in a haystack to yep. find vapor products in there. So all it's going to do is take that money that could have been going to support U.S. businesses, U.S. employees, taxpayers, and it's going to ship it overseas even more than it already does. You but they, but they know that. You don't think it'll make the brick and mortars like more popular? Well, stuff? that's the that's the interesting thing in this whole thing, right? So this is the crazy part, and, and Matt touched on this in one of his posts on Facebook, I believe. He talked about depending on where your income stream comes from is depending on which side you're going to stand on, because this could be a huge opportunity to put wind back in the sale of failing brick and mortar stores that are depending on online sales and. 
people coming in their shops. And honestly, our industry was built on the backs of these brick and mortar shops. All of us learned the basic information on how to vape from being around other people in vape shops. We learned about flavors from testing flavors in vape shops, how to build RDAs in vape shops. That's where most of the YouTubers got the information that they brought to the internet. So could it be like a second awakening of the passion of the, the, the local community instead of just the online community? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's a different way to look at it, right? The thing is though with vape shops and I've, I'm all for people shopping at vape shops, but you're going to have all these shops. And I'm not saying all shops like this. There are the honest shops out there. Then you have the ones that are in it for the money that are just going to rip everyone off. Then you have the issue to where there's a lot of people that don't live close to a vape shop. How does the disabled get to a vape shop when a disabled person depends on buying their stuff online? You know how, you know, so I don't know, man. I don't know. It's interesting, right? Yeah. And then the other thing is <clears throat> there's a lot to do with tax money with vape shops. And uh, a lot of people in chat are talking about price gouging. And this is also an issue. Like I'm a small business owner outside of the vape world, right? And I deal with I'm a small business and we have a few employees. We have a few offices, a few locations. And we, we're competing with such giants as like big, big, big business, right? So our buying power is not as good. Our overhead expenses are much higher. And we don't have the diversified product selection that allows us at, in, in buying in the quantity that gives us cheaper pricing. And the problem is today, me being included, so I'm not pointing fingers at anyone, but consumers want the cheapest price possible. And we still want service, but we don't want to pay for it. And what the problem is with Amazon and with online shopping, we've eliminated one or even two middlemen in the chain. So the pricing has reflected that. And we've gotten used to the price being, you know, okay, so say something costs $13. And the $13 becomes 20 when the manufacturer sells it. So the manufacturer's making, say, $7 or $8, right? The, the, the distribution company buys it for 20 and then sells it wholesale for 40 right? I'm not saying these numbers mean nothing, by the way, and they're not based in reality at all. I'm just giving you guys an understanding. So once the distro gets rid of it for, for 40, then the wholesaler sells it to the shop and the shop has to sell it to make money. So everybody's got to get a piece of that chain for the system to work. If you go with the companies like Heaven's Gifts or 3F Vape, it's manufacturer, reseller, and you. There's no middleman. There's no middle middleman. Better for price, better for the consumer, but it's a terrible business model for supporting employees and supporting a system that, that makes profit for people. Right. Now, I see people that are saying uh, vape shops, price college, and whatever. Look, there's going to be the shops that do that. But if something is, for example, let's say this is online for $30. The vape shop has it for $35. That's fine. That extra 5 bucks is because of what you, Brian was just talking about. But if this is online for 30 and the vape shop selling it for 70, that's price gouging. And uh, a lot of people hear this from vape shop. And that's what, and that, that, that makes basically makes people not want to go into vape shop because of that. That actually, those, those uh, vape shop owners that are price gouging are hurting all vape shops by doing that. You know, just to basically fatten up their pockets. Yep. And not only is are those people wanting to get paid because they're trying to stay in business, but also then you have the government, the state government, that's looking to also get money from taxing. So not only do you have, like in the state of New Jersey, not only do you have sales tax, but then you have sin tax added on top of that. It's it, it's it, uh, We've gotten really spoiled in an unregulated, uncontrolled, open market where you could go directly to the manufacturer, to the source, to get pretty much special distribution pricing on products that never were intended to be that way in a real business model. But we got away with it because that's what happened. Kind of crazy. Yeah. And I don't know if it's possible to go back without a lot of suffering for people and a lot of bitching. If someone says my vape shop doesn't go That's awesome. A vape shop that doesn't do that, support them. Man. I'll tell you something. If I'm, if I'm looking for a product, let's say, and I know that Let's say, for example, the Orion is sixty-five dollars online, and my vape shop is selling it for seventy, seventy-two bucks, maybe even seventy-five. I would, if I want it right away, I'm gonna go buy it from them. I'm gonna help support them. But if they're selling this for a hundred, fuck them. You know, no way. 
That's too much money. Uh, somebody asked what Nick, Nick level I vape in the Infinix. I keep seeing that question. So um, I don't know. It depends. 30, 30, 35, 50. It depends on what I'm vaping that day. That's for Nick salts, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people are putting their percentages in chat. Um, yeah, if you got, dude, if if you have a, if you go to a vape shop and they price gouging, support them. Yep, definitely support them. But a lot of like a lot of the shops that that had online businesses on top of their local shop, they were able to lower their pricing to sort of be competitive in, with the online marketplace because they had that online component. And a lot of this, a lot of the big online shops started off as brick and mortar. They expanded and they became online, and then they closed their brick and mortar. You know, as they grew. So I don't know what other industry was going a certain way. Regulations came in and changed the business, and then it actually recovered to a point that it still existed. All right, Mark, you can take this one. I don't know that answer, by the way, but I don't either, actually. Thank you, Mark. What is that? Flesh colored? Oh God. Is that flesh, Mark? Dude, a fleshlight is perfect to hold your mod for protection. Is that a fleshlight? It is. Well, it's kind of like a half a fleshlight. I cut it in half. Because you're small? It was too long, yeah. Yeah. So would you share it with your neighbor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Go ahead. Carry on. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to keep... Uh, I'm taking care of chat. Yeah, there's a difference between charging a markup to cover your overhead expense and also make a living. Like I, I'm, I'm all about like business owners who take risks to take loans, to take five-year or three-year leases for a property that put everything on the line. Like I'm all about them making a living, a good living. I just, you know, there has to be a limit to how much markup. Well, there doesn't have to be a limit. It could be whatever you want it to be, but you're not going to remain competitive, especially with people being able to communicate online about what they pay for things. But depending on what state you live in, what the taxes are in that state, also what the cost of living is in the state you live in. Like if you live down in Mississippi, comparing that to New Jersey for the prices you pay for a mod, you can't. Uh, Steven Eagles, $1.99. He said football regulations on quarterbacks. There you go. Yeah, that has changed. Definitely, it has recovered. Uh, but uh, just for people, I see I'm, I'm reading the chat here. There is nothing on, that is saying vaping is not online. Uh, vaping is not getting banned. Right? You're still going to be able to buy products. You're still going to be able to buy your juice. You don't have to go out and buy everything just to stock up for the apocalypse. You don't got to worry. None of that's happening. Yep. But when you guys talk about like the prices of your local shops now, you have no idea. I mean, back when I started vaping in 2014, in the summer of 2014, it was you didn't leave the vape shop getting a starter set up for under $120. I mean, that's just what you paid. Like for like an Inikin MVP 2.0 with an Aspire Nautilus tank with some liquid, you were at like more than that even. Because then you had to, you know, buy coils and all those kind of extra accessories and stuff. And coils used to be 20 bucks a pack, remember? So, and not only that, but when you saw like a review from, you know, uh, you know Phil Basardo or any of the originators that started on YouTube vape reviews, it would take sometimes a month and a half before what you saw the review on would arrive in the stores. And I'd be calling my store all the time, showing up, making sure they had them in stock. Like it was just a that was like my routine when I was passionate about vape vape products. Mike, how much did you go to vape shops in the early days? Uh, not as much probably as you, but I did. When I first, actually, before I started doing videos, I was going to not really going a lot to vape shops, but after I was hanging out at vape shops more. But I tell you the truth, I haven't gotten a vape shop in a long time. I went in my my local shop. Like I, I used to go even when I started YouTube. Like I would still go and hang out because I knew the owner and I knew the the workers in the shop. And sometimes I would even like go live sometimes in the shops. And um, I noticed I went in like two weeks ago in the store basically is supported and in business like there used to be this beautiful bar where they would custom mix juices for you and they would like their biggest sale item in the shop was not like the juice they carried it was the homemade juice because it was at a discounted price and they made a good amount of profit on it so they they loved selling house juice so they had house juice they had a flavor testing bar they had all the newest mods they had cabinets and cabinets full of all the new products lined out 
two dollar smashed and fuller uh i paid 85 bucks for an rx 200 back in 2016 yeah um so anyway what i'm trying to say is i went in there the other day and they have this big glass case at the front desk and i sat in there for like an hour and i could see people coming in and out in and out and the only thing people were buying was jewel pods jewels and one other starter type setup and that was it that was what people were buying the bar was empty there was no juice behind it anymore um all the products were old within six months to a year living hints gave uh 1969 for brian big machinery rentals good business there you go um yeah so the other thing that was in the shop was CBD. On the outside of the shop, all you see is big letters, CBD, because there's so much profit margin in CBD products. And um, It's funny you say that. Go ahead. Well, the two shops that I used to go hang out at, one of them is now selling. It used to be a beautiful vape shop. It was just strictly vapes. Now the vape section has become so small, it's all CBD stuff. You know, So I stopped going in there. And the other shop that I would go into when I was not Mike Vapes, uh, they weren't helpful. You know what I'm saying? It's like you get the cold shoulder in there because they were all sitting back there vaping on their RDAs when I was just a beginner. Yeah. Uh, they didn't want to be, it's like they didn't, they didn't want to even know the help. They didn't want to help, you know, yeah. the attitude. And then after when I became Mike Vapes, oh, 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 the fakeness came out. And I was like, you know, what? fuck yourselves. I stopped going in there. Uh, we just got a donation from Jonathan Smith, $2.99. Local shop has the OG original Freak Show RDAs for $80. That might be a, a classic price or something, maybe. I don't know. But I agree, Mike. It was very intimidating starting off vaping when you were a noob. Um, I, I remember I was so afraid of unregulated devices, battery safety, making sure I learned what builds were on things, making sure that even my regulated MVP, like I was afraid how I plugged it in. I was afraid because back then, if you hit the fire button and you didn't know exactly what your coil could handle, you would ruin your coil. Like it would just, it would be done with one hit, like one quick hit and it would be fried. Yeah. Yep. I was always terrified about asking which battery was the right battery for my mod. That was yep. my big fear. And there wasn't like, who, why do I hear myself echoing? Is Ooh. that you? Is that Ooh. you, Mark? Uh, shouldn't be. Echo, I hear myself talking. Echo, echo, echo. echo. I just muted. It's your Mike, mic. echo. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear me echoing. Echo, echo. Ah, now it's gone. Yeah. Talk. Echo? I hear it, yeah. That's weird. Hello, how are you today, my friend? Anyway, um, in the vape shops, there wasn't a... I mean, the people that worked there seemed like they knew what they were talking about, and a lot of them were, like, part of ECF, the, the forums, and a lot of them, like, learned information from... read it, too, at the, a little bit after that. But... Most of the information was just experience from working in the shops. A lot of people were misinformed. A lot of people knew a little bit of information, but acted like they knew a lot. Uh, Dave Pearson just donated, um, what did he say? Nine ninety nine. Utah considers rebuilding tanks a dead market. If online stores are to go away, how can an enthusiast in such a region get new products if stores won't carry them? By the way, sorry we missed the show. That, you know, and by the way, all these um, movements by the FDA and the government are strategic. So they know that if they eliminate A, then B is going to be the result. So it might all just be part of the plan. That's why we need to keep our eyes open. We need to try, try to the best of our ability to think three steps ahead and think about what the intentions are and not let our own monetary short-term gains determine our decisions for long-term action. Yep. yep. Brian is so smart. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know, but I think it's right now, uh, yeah, this, don't be in panic mode. Just keep going as usual. Support your advocacy channels. Yep. And definitely try to educate yourself and learn as much as you possibly can because the better informed we are, the more we can share truthful, honest information with our friends and our families, also our local vape shops, 
and um, and try to educate people with the right information. Yep. Brian, your mic is picking up. Talk about let's do let's let's do a little uh, vape talk. Vape gear. Talk about the SQ, Brian. Yes. So far. Let's. Why don't we dive down? Yes. Let's see it. All right. Show it because you have the limited edition version. I do. Limited edition, baby. Hold on. Let me uh, switch my camera if I can find my. Where's my little remote? Shit. Here it is. Boom. That's a. Oh. Never mind. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking balls. So is the bottle the same size or is it a little bigger? Or... It looks, it's bigger. Is Are you it... serious? That's the recurve bottle, Mark. Yep. I, a bottle's a bottle to me. Yeah, you lost, brother. Yep. I don't squonk. Dude, I love the two tone special ed limited edition. It's gorgeous. That is, that is beautiful looking. But as far as like, when you compare it size wise to the original in the hand, it feels very similar. Like it feels the same comfort, the same ergonomics. Um, it, it actually feels a little bit maybe uh, blind, <laughs> blind meat shield. Thank you. $5. I think the end game is to recoup lost tax revenue, obviously. Yep. It's to recoup lost tax revenue without making themselves look dirty or bad. And to come out as the victors in the end that we're thinking about public health and kids. So they're trying to save their face and their ass at the same time, but also try to pull the wool over everyone's eyes because it's all a greedy cash grab, yep. to be truthful. But, um, yeah, so size-wise, uh, you know, it's bigger. It's definitely bigger. There's no question when you compare the two, but not much bigger. And in the hands, it actually feels a little bit more comfortable to, because my hands are pretty big. Um, I can tell you this, that with the uh, 30T in there, uh, it feels so much more powerful that battery hits just way fucking harder and this is one of the hard this is the hardest hitting mechanical fully mechanical uh, squonkers i mean it's it's got an amazing hit to it um the machining is beautiful the quality is gorgeous the bottle's bigger i'll take the inside off to show you guys Ooh, that is nice it's gorgeous yeah same awesome feel same connection i mean beautiful Oh, yeah, baby. Yep. Uh, if you, anyone's interested in learning about how these are made, uh, I did a, a video. Mike was in it when we went to Birmingham last, I guess, last May. And um, I did a tour of this, um, of Signature Tips. And I showed off, like, all the different tools that they use and showed the shop, showed, you know, the different processes they do. It's pretty fascinating to see how much work goes into it. And the fact that it's made in the U.K., by UK workers, by family, um, made with passion and care. It's it's really awesome, man. Definitely beautiful. I think he did a short clip. I think if you go go on his Instagram, yeah, go on Signature uh, Tips Instagram, you'll see a small clip too where he did uh, we show the mods being machined. How about you, Mark? Anything new? Uh, really exciting. Nothing exciting, no. It's a pretty boring stuff. Pretty boring? All right. I guess I'll show my new new. The new new? Already during the week. Another live shows, but we'll show it again now. This is that the new Aug Vape mod. It's called the uh, Foxy. Aug Vape Foxy. And it's got, for some reason, it's got Druga logo on it. Not sure. But it's got this, uh, it's a 150 watt device. It does, uh, does a voltage mode and wattage mode. Got a little display there, your up and down buttons inside here. There's the other side, batteries go in. And it's got this little lever here. It's supposed to be a, it's called a quick release. So if I press this button, see there? That's quick cool. Release. And to put this back in, <laughs> you see that? Yep. What do you think of that? With the quick release? Yeah. Is it necessary? The only thing I can see it being useful for, perhaps, is like a squonk mod that people want to use those top fill bottles. Maybe that would be work worth it. 
Yeah. That's it, maybe? You can fill it that. Or if you're an impatient. Yeah. What is it? What is it like a part of a part of the threads that have a spring on them or something, Mike? Is that what it is? Yeah. Here, I could show you. Let's see the inside of that. It's better with this. See that? Yes. I don't know about that. I I would. Mm. And it's pretty tight. Is it tight? Yeah. The one I have, for some reason, it's like not popping off. Like Mike's pops off real easy. Mine. Well, sometimes it'll pop off, sometimes it doesn't. But the thing is, the way you press, if I press in, that way is where you're going to push. See? It's got to go out that way. You can't try and pull it straight up. Because you're going to mess up your threading if you try and pull it against the threads. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You want it to, you want it to go off. That way, not like this or straight up. But uh, other than that, the mod itself, I I love this mod. The way it feels in the hand. Uh, I think Dame Bentley, Mike, just made a good point in chat. He said that would be really cool for trying to have your logo line up to center it on your mod. Yeah, that's another thing too, yeah. That's a pretty cool fucking feature then. Yeah, because let's say the logo right there i want to put it there and that's where i could lock it in place right there yep so it's pretty cool um I, w I the only thing i'd be concerned about is like putting it in your pocket day after day and having it bend and bend and maybe it would start to wiggle or the spring would lose its tension or something this like that tight. this does not is it it's tight in there yeah the spring is tight all right tight spring there's another color of it variation Hey, it's it. That's kind of cool. I gotta say, at it's first, something different. Yeah. Now, w it, when you put that in your pocket, where that little spring is, Mike, like where you were just pushing, uh -huh. if you sit on that, is your fucking RDA gonna pop off in your pocket? Nah, it, it, the pressure, it's a lot in your pocket. It ain't gonna pop off. I don't know. Your body has a lot of pressure when you're putting your sitting in your seat. You gotta push it all the way in. The button's like a recess, yeah. so you gotta actually push it behind the the, the body a little bit. Hmm. Yep. I don't know how good it's going to do, to tell you the truth. I don't know. Is it something that's necessary? I think it's cool. It's something different. Yeah. I don't know. If for someone, I'll give an example. For someone like me who's constantly taking one dripper off testing, this is awesome that it's how it's quick, you know, just to get that off. That's off right there. Throw this on. There you go. I just changed atomizers. It's, Snap of a finger instead of sitting there and unthreading and then. It's cool. It's something different. Yeah, man. A lot of time, I mean, it, it seemed gimmicky at first, but once uh, we started talking about that centering of the logo and for those OCD people. Oh, that bothers me. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Love, yeah. What do you guys think in chat? As long as the threads hold up and it keeps it down, I don't know if there's going to be resistance issues. I don't think there will be. Well, yeah, someone mentioned uh, in chat voltage drop. Yep. Mike, once it's once it's locked down, can you continue spinning to get it really tight? Yeah, like right now it's locked in. And you yeah, can still spin? It's locked in and a dead-on center the way I had put it in. Like the one... I got two of them. I haven't opened up the other one, but with the one I have, I have a hard time pulling the atomizer out and then also... That's because you're going against, you're trying to pull it out the wrong way. No. You got to go away from the press. And it's not reading certain atomizers for some reason. I screwed down. So this is the struggle that I have. Like, look at a chat, and it looks like people are... are some people are interested. Some people think it's impressive. Some people think that it's good. Some people think it's gimmicky. Some people say it's somewhat gimmicky. The problem is if companies don't take risks and try gimmicks, then all we have is redundant products that don't innovate. All we have is the same repetitive things. And before long, you might as well just you know, re-release -re products that have already been out in the past because there's not going to be anything other than a facelift. So I get it. I don't get it. And I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm playing devil's advocate from, yeah. from every angle. 
Someone said voltage drop. I don't know how you get voltage drop from a regulated mod. Maybe inconsistency on the voltage reading or something like that. But as long as it's making good contact on the bottom of the 510, it should be okay. Yeah, the resistance is on the money. Yeah. Got to take a risk to evolve. You do. And for every 20 stupid things, you know, the one thing that seemed gimmicky that actually did deliver can change the entire game. So the way like it works. Wattage, I'm vaping the drop dead at 105 watts. That's what I was vaping it on in my previous mod. I had it on. You know, so it's the same wattage. So I'm not getting, I'm not losing power. If that's what you're asking. Somebody said Galici is about to drop the sponsorship. Why would they drop the sponsorship? We, Give Galici more shout outs on the show than any other sponsor that we work with. There are batteries in this mod, thank you. Yeah, we love Galici. And there's batteries in this mod too. Speaking of Galici, it doesn't matter what size Galici battery you use, as long as you're using this charger, <laughs> <laughs> they will fit because this charger has a lot of bays for different sizes. Look at all those different Galici batteries. The all box seems to be like double the size. Is is it just the camera making the box look big? No, it's a, it's a box that has like a charger thing and oh. it fits inside there, you know. Oh my god. I, was, I think it's, I don't remember if it was Fagan Industries or your proctologist, Mark's proctologist. Oh, was it? If you have a coupon code for Everson. That would be a negative. Um, no, I don't know, honestly. Hey, Mark, try. Try your Foxy without screwing the RDA, RDA down. Just place it in the 510 and release the button. Dude, I I don't know why people are thinking for some reason I'm doing it wrong. I yanked this thing like every way possible. Left, right, up, down, sideways. Like it comes out. Don't get me wrong. Two, bay, two, two bay, two amp charging. The button's all the way in as far as it goes. And if I pull it this way really hard. Yeah, I got to pull it extremely hard though. It doesn't just pop right off. So man the fuck up. Well, no, it's, I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about are the threads over time on whatever atomizer I'm using since I have to put so much force on it. Fucking the threads up over time. Yeah, might, not, might not be, I don't know, the press might not be good. Yeah, I might just have it's a... not fully yeah. opening on the press. Uh, but see, another thing is, like, it doesn't work with... A few atomizers. I keep saying no atomizer. Let me see that. Do that again. You got it all the way down? Yep. Tightened all the way down. <laughs> Dude, it's probably not even that mod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they purposely sent me the fucked up one. What, what, what tank is that? Hold on, Mike. You tank? I just want to let everybody know Galici's okay with us. They, they still love the vape team. So, <laughs> go ahead, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, my cube works. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I want to have some. Oh, never mind. Now you said it. You got to say it. But I can see it damaging the threads. Oh, people. I could see that happening. Yep. Do you have to use a quick release? No, you don't. The way it should release is both ways open up with the button. Yeah. Dude, do you remember the E Leaf, the original iStick, and the five the threads that they used on the original iStick? Oh, how they were god. oh my god. I used to make videos, guys, back in the day on and That's I got so I much shit. I got so much shit from haters saying that there's no problem, it was my fault from cross thread and blah blah blah. Uh FTW Muffins X D said, How do you compare Galicia batteries to the Sony VTC five A? If you want to know that exact comparison, check out Battery Mooch, because he does a comparison and checks them out. And he said that um the Galicia one was slightly lower rated than the VTC five A, but so close. VTC five so A is the best. Yep. Actually no. There was a new battery this week that he reviewed that was better oh, than battery that. mooch is in chat so you can There you go, it. battery mooch. There's a new battery that is better than the VTC 5A? Yes. Which battery is that? Um, Offhand? I forget. I just... I can't remember the name of that company. The cool thing is, is if you're a Patreon, he updates you all the time with information on all the new battery reading stuff and testing and what's going on with new equipment, all the kind of good stuff that you need. So... Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, so the the threads would actually strip and the your, your RDA would like wobble on there and then eventually it would lose connection completely. So I started doing like things with like cardboard to screw it in to get it tighter and all that. So I made a video on how to temporarily fix it. So back then, like if your vape mod broke, you didn't have 50 mods because mods were like 100 bucks. So we were all broke and, you know, it was tough. So back then, like fixes were a lot more common and like black tape shit and stuff, right, Mike? Yep. I mean, a lot of a, black tape. A lot of black tape. Yep. My camera working. So there you go. Uh, it was a vape cell. That's what it was, a vape cell. Remember? Thank you. All the, all the mods back in the days. The green vape cell. They would use these shitty little 510s. Was that the one that the, uh, the eye stick was using? These would strip so easy. Well, the one from the eye stick was it? A, was it a, an attachment, Brian? Yeah. Well, that's what it was. So, so I, I did the fix originally for just like you know putting your putting your R, R, at the time it was a sub tank. It was the Nautilus, I think the Nautilus Mini, but um, it would attach, and then every time you wanted to like you know fill your tank, it didn't have top fill. It wasn't around back then, guys. Yeah. So you actually had to unscrew every time to get your some of them tank off your mod and then unscrew the, the bottom of it, fill it from the bottom, screw it back on. And what would happen is whatever piece I would use to fill in that gap of, the, of for the stripping to keep the tension down on the 510 connection, it would start to wear off. So yeah. they came out with something called the five, uh, the five or what was it? The eye stick. It was like a, a thing that stuck down on the 510 and then it would allow you to like spring it open off of the mod. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what it was. It was that flip. Yeah, the flip door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what that allowed me to do is it wouldn't make me have to unscrew it off the mod every time. I could actually flip it open, unscrew, and then fill it. So it actually worked. It was brilliant at nope. the time. Yep, yep. Shane Smith says, "Congrats, sixteen thousand subscribers and friends on the vape team." Yeah. So for all those that don't know, we decided to make the vape team an independent channel just for this show. We could have easily went on, actually, we started on the Vapor Chronicles channel for like the first, what, maybe 10 shows, 20 shows? No, actually, we did the, we started on the Vape team, but you were doing uh, replays. Ah, like, that's what it was. Something like that. I would do replays on the on the Vapor Chronicles channel. And uh, like we could broadcast on Mike's channel tonight and, and blow this shit up completely, but we always wanted to remain independent and have an independent channel to keep any drama out of the our channels and have an independent channel just for this. Yep. Just in case for people that don't like the live shows that yep. want to see that on the stream, this way they don't complain. This is a dedicated channel that's strictly for live shows. Yep. Pretty cool. Buddy, those like peeps. We do a giveaways tonight? We do. We have giveaways. Uh, Dwayne from Inakin said, uh, did you get a contact from uh, Inakin, Mike? What do you mean by the con a message? Yeah, a message for giveaways at all. Uh, he messaged me. Why don't we do a little bit of this, shall we? Do Mark, you like this? I love it. Yeah, a little bit of sponsorship. No, let's not do that. Let's do. Yeah. Now, um, I know Enik and Dwayne is watching now. China, Enik and from the Connect in China. <laughs> We do giveaways every week, so. Okay, so we're good, yeah, Dwayne. Yeah. Mike's got that. Yeah, 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 all set with Anakin. But the only thing is there might be a delay on them shipping them out because they are going on vacation. Okay. So I don't know if they'll be able to get them out before they leave vacation, or if, if not, it's going to be up when they come back. So. so there might be a delay. I know that, like, Geek Vape, they're away already on vacation. Sweet. All right, so what giveaways? First of all, let's thank all of our sponsors. We're going to thank Geek Vape. Thank you very much for the sponsorship. Without you guys, the show would not be possible the way that it is right now, so we appreciate it. Also, Galisi. I Galisi, you Galisi, we all Galisi, Galisi. Uh, Hell Vape, and most importantly, Dwayne from Anakin, you're sexy, and we love you, so Anakin. Thank you, Anakin. Anakin George, thank you. Yes. And uh, the first giveaway we're going to do is going to be one that you're going to need to contact me if you win. And we do this every week, but I have to repeat myself because people don't follow the protocol. <laughs> <laughs> so the protocol is simple. 
contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger. And all I need is a title that says, well, this winning is going to be. I forget what I'm giving away. Bleh. The whatchamacallit from who, 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 who? From who to high? The Nova from Chevrolet. Chevy yes. Nova? Yes, the Chevy Nova. Now we're going to give away the Geek Vape Nova kit, and it's going to come with the Alpha. Alpha. Alpha and Alpha. the Nova. So there you go. We're yeah, going to give away. These giveaways are all over the world, someone asked. Yeah, this is going to be a global giveaway. So we're going to start off with that. So, Mark, please pick one winner for the Alpha <coughs> Nova giveaway from one number. Geek Vape. I'm going to give you one as the number. Here we go. Number one. Number one, nobody. Number two, or no, number one, twice, nobody. Number one, three times. Holy shit, nobody. Number one, four times. Holy shit, nobody. Number one, five times. God damn, nobody. Pick number two. Number two, one time, we have a winner. Ben, I want to say either it's we tit or wit it. W I T I T. It's we probably tit. with it. It's probably we with it. Sounds good though. Yeah. Congratulations, Ben. We tit. All right, so Ben, contact me as I said before. Chevy Nova win or a Nova kit winner or Nova Alpha winner. Your name, your full name, your address, your telephone number, and your email address in that order. All right. Contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger. And the next giveaway we're going to do is for Hell Vape. And for Hell Vape, we're going to be giving away a drop dead. One drop dead. So, Mark, pick a number winner. 24. 24. 24. Winner is going to be Kermit Frug. I know that's, it's not frog, it's F R U G. So It's, it's French Kermit. for frug. Yeah. Frug. <laughs> it's not French. I don't know if it's French or not. Kermit Frug. Congratulations. Kermit de Frug. Frugi. Yeah. Congratulations, Kermit. Contact me. Contact me, Kermit. Uh -huh. All right. So the next giveaway we're going to do is for, let's see. And, and it can proton. No. Oh. I, have, I have one more giveaway for me. We're oh. going to be giving away not Stay one. yours to the end. Yeah, but I don't want people to get confused about who they contact. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. So we're going to be giving away two beautiful top sides. So two top oh, sides tonight. Shit. So two top sides on the show. Uh, those that won the top sides last week, they've been shipped out already, so you should be getting them. I don't know if they did the slow. Sh I think they did the fast shipping, actually. I think it's DHL, if I'm not mistaken. Do so we need to talk about this, too? About me? We do. We need to talk about it. So why don't we pick a winner, and then before we go into your giveaway for Anakin, we'll talk about what we need to talk about. So, Mark, pick a winner for the top side, number 25. 25. Here we go, folks. Two five is going to be nobody. Twenty five again. Oh, we got a winner. Is it Rachel Manzi? M A N Z I. There you go. Congratulations, Rachel Manzi. Contact me with the headline of the message saying "Topside Winner," and uh, everything else I said before in that format, as I said before. So thank you. Congratulations. Um, obviously any winners on our show have to be of legal vaping age, wherever they live. That's a, that's a definite, this is an adult show for adults that promotes products that are made for adults. So if you're a winner, you must be an adult straight up. Uh, we need to pick one more winner. So Mark, go ahead. Number 12. <laughs> Number 30. 12 or 30? 30. 30. Okay, you sure you want to do 12? 30. 30? Yes. Okay, here we go. Number 30, folks. Winner is, holy shit. <sighs> here we go. This is not American, but it's okay. Blackheim Katatunia. B-L-A-C-K-A-T-A-T-O-N-I-A. <laughs> Blackheim Katatunia. There you go. Congratulations, you need to contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on Facebook Messenger. Um, all right, so Mike has to... Okay, so I was a little bit concerned. The way that Dovepo decided to send out 
the products for the top side. They had an initial shipment that should be arriving at stores, especially in the U.S., in the next, like yesterday, today, tomorrow. Normally, reviewer versions go out before, but for some reason that didn't happen. The only reason that Mike has one to review, which he did a review today, is because he actually has an online shop, which is hitthatjuice.com, and he got them in and reviewed one of his retail versions. So I just wanted to make sure that all the reviewers out there that don't have one, it's not because uh, Mike got first dibs, it's because Mike has a shop and he got them and decided to review it. I paid for it. Yeah, he paid for it. So I don't know why the reviewers ones aren't out there, but hopefully they'll be shipped out right now. I he, told me, he told me that he's shipping them out before the 29th. So they're getting it shipped out oh, most likely today. I yeah. think they're going to ship them out before the weekend. So so there you go. It's, today is Friday for them. So they're shipping them out yeah, Friday. Awesome. All right, Inakin. Huh? We've got a winner. We've yes, got we're a winner. going to give away uh, one Proton uh, Plex kit to a winner. Let's do it. Number... 99. 99. Here we go. Winner is nobody. 99 again. <laughs> Michael Steltz. S T E L T S. Steltz. Michael Steltz. Michael Steltz. Congratulations. Email me. Hit that juice at gmail.com. In the title, put down. Proton winner. Need your name, address, phone number, and email address typed out for me and a copy of your picture ID. Thank you very much. And uh, please don't email me like a week later. I haven't gotten it yet because I'm not sure when they're going to ship it. Most likely they're going to ship it after they come back from their holiday. So congratulations, though. Yeah, buddy. They have not tell me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, check out my review for this. Yep, it's check out right Mike's now. review. Yeah, buddy. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've gotten a couple I people. He, yeah, he basically just kills it. I trash the shit out of this mod with yeah. Brian watching. Yep, and I go into tears in the chat. Yep. And he says, "I don't give a fuck how you feel. This is an honest review." That's so. right. I spun spun his seat, pulled one off the shelf. Yep. Hell yeah. But there have been a couple people. Like one guy was on a business trip to China, and he went to the Dopo uh, office, and he bought one from them. And uh, he's been like contacting me nonstop with pictures and telling me everything I he see, loves about it. Yeah, I seen the guy posting him. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, look, the one reason why I decided to review one of the ones I had, which I could have waited. But I said to myself, I want to get the views. I'm not going to lie about it. Of course I want to get the views. Right. I don't not know. only that, there's a lot of people that want to get it, pre-order it. They want to see a video on it other than Brian's presentation video. So yeah, there's another video out there for you guys to see. Get a look at it. I show in the video the spare bottle. Packaging comes in. The top piece that uh, basically plugs that bottle so you can take it on the go with you. So you get to check that out. And I think, what was it? The f How many pieces was it, Brian? I couldn't remember the video. 52. No, not, not how many pieces are in the mod. How many pieces, how many uh, uh, of the mods have the uh, tube that's straight? I think it was like 100 or something like that. Oh, it's 100? Okay. Yeah. They caught it really early. Okay. So if you're having trouble with like the feel of the squonk bottle and it feels too tight, uh, check your check the tube inside the bottle to make sure. I think a hundred of them had like a straight tube that wasn't cut. I had one that wasn't cut and it was working fine, but somebody else had one that was like laying against the bottom and it was causing a, a pressure issue. So just make sure, but all they fixed it. I mean, they sent me a picture. Like uh, the one, actually this one here was the retail version and the retail version had that problem too. Yeah. That's what I mean. I think a hundred of them that they caught it. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. So just in case, you could always I show in the video open I mean, up what to do. I made sure all of them are fucking cut. There you go. So look at all those tubes. Cut that tube, cut that tube. Yep. Uh, Wallace Nunez, nobody is whining. It's just something, just putting it out. 
No, but there's a, there's a normal protocol that happens. Like usually reviewers get products and uh, then like a week or two later, like the consumers start getting them. And this time for some reason, I don't know why, I thought the reviewers were already shipped out and they weren't. So I've been getting hit up by some of my friends that are reviewers saying, yo, Brian, I saw so-and-so, you know, got them and I don't have it yet. Um, I was actually chatting with Bogan this morning. He messaged me when I was having my coffee and I was like, bro, I'm sorry. So I talked to, uh, to the guy from Davpo. He told me, I asked him, when are you sending out the reviewer sample? Cause you already sent out the ones that I ordered for my website. Yeah. And he told me the reason why is because he's the one that does all the shipping for the reviewers and he was away that's what he told me he just got back but the orders that are going for vendors that's done by somebody else so they got those out first and they couldn't get out the reviewer ones first because he's in charge of the reviewers and he wasn't there to do it he was away on business something he was telling me. so there you go yeah, it's never it's never a uh, an easy process, and there's always little things that happen. But you know, you just got to roll with it, man. If you're going to be able to survive doing this type of stuff, you have to be uh, have thick skin and just roll with it as it comes and do the best you can. And by the way, if anybody's happy about it not being cut, Mark loves it uncut. Hey, were you laughing at Scotty's comment? Yeah, is the uncut tube more sensitive? It is definitely more sensitive, <laughs> but but it can provide a little bit more uh, risk for infection. Oh, so. Man. That was yeah. a good one. There you go. Anything <laughs> else, guys? Any any uh, comments, Mark? Any updates? Any giveaways for the... Uh... Oh, you know what? I am going to give away a BOS. I did promise everyone I was going to do a BOS. There you go. Oh. Let me do that really quick, folks. Do-do-do. Mark's giving away his guitar? Uh, that would not be possible, folks. I'm sorry, but that would be a negative. Uh, TVC, when will purple be coming around? Guess. I could guess that. There you go. Mike knows, actually, because he placed an order for him. Yep. Next week. Sometime. He's shipping them out. I ordered the colors. I got all the colors coming. I mean, other vendors, too. Everybody's going to have them. Most likely by... You figure if they ship them out through customs and all that... Wednesday, Thursday next week, latest Friday. All right, I'm gonna pick number sixty-three because I see HJ with Horawah said the number, so that's what I'm going with. Sixty-three. Here we go. Thank HJ. Oh, you see the number, uh, and uh, only a limited supply is going out to everybody for color. So it's gonna be, if you really want one, go gr grab it right away. And then they go on vacation right after that. Yeah. So it's gonna be a little bit of a wait after the first colors drop. I wish I could show you guys this, but number 63 is actually Vape and Fagan. That is fucking weird. Oh, you won. Wow. Congratulations, Mark. Giveaway. If you don't have to technically give it away. Are you piffing it? I'm piffing it, so we'll do it again. 63 is going to be... Nobody. It was almost Blind Meat Shield, but he was 62. 63, 63... Here we go. Winner is Joey Vapes. J O E Y Vapes. Congratulations, Joey. Email me first name, last name, address. You better be in the States because I'm not shipping it out of the States because I'm a lazy fuck and I don't feel like filling out the custom forms. Thank you. At least you're honest. I am honest. Thank you. Praise Jesus. <laughs> oh. Someone's asking about a green edition. You never know. I'm, I'm talking about all kinds of different cool stuff. I got so many fucking ideas and not enough time to to get them out. But yeah, there's some really cool stuff in the in the pipeline. So the problem with coming out with new ideas about existing mods is that when people make a decision and they commit to it, they're always like, "You didn't fucking tell us about this." And it's like, well, if I start talking about stuff too soon, then everyone's gonna be like, you know, doing the same ideas. So. You have to be careful with that kind of stuff. Galisi. Galisi, Galisi. Show, somebody said show the blue one. So here's the blue. If anyone wants to know what the blue color is like, if you know what an Infinix blue is, it's pretty close to the Infinix blue. Pretty, cl pretty close. Yep. There you go. Check out my Instagram. I got a picture of all of them. Yep. Gunmetal looks awesome. 
Yeah. Silver. Oh, dude, check this out. Fucking the stainless looks sick. I love the stainless. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. With the black mod on top. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Look at the mod. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Recurvisms. Recurvisms, baby. So also the uh, gold drop deads are going to be coming in stock soon and the bloody uh, mess ones. So that's happening. We're busy, man. The vape team stays busy. So anything else, guys? Boom, boom. I think we pretty much covered everything. That's it. That's it? That's it. Oh. All right, everybody. Well, we appreciate you. Thanks for watching the show. And uh, we'll be back same vape time, same vape channel next week. The vape team on Thursday night. And after that, I think we're going to be maybe a week after the week after that, we're going to be in the UK. So we might not have a show that week. Um, yeah. No, I don't think we'll have a show that week. Yeah, I don't think we will. Mark will probably do a show, though, because he can't control himself. And it'll probably be bad and we'll get messages about it or something. Probably. So look forward to that, guys. Anything you want to know that shouldn't be talked about, just wait for Mark to go live when Michael and I are like on an airplane flying overseas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is the Bloody Mess a limited run? No. The Bloody Mess, will make, they'll make as many as people want to buy. And it seemed like from Instagram and from the other places that I posted it, people are really interested in it. So there you go. By the way, thank you, everyone who supports Mike, Mark, and I. We really appreciate it. Uh, this show is, is really only supported by you guys who watch it. So we thank you for that. Uh, we also thank you when you support our channels and when you also support our products. Um, it means a lot. So. Thank you. Thank you. Mark gives you a thumbs up with that sloppy thumb. I wouldn't <laughs> want to know where that fucking thing's been. That's all I got to say. What is it? What, you can fold that over you like 10 times, right? Yep. <laughs> By the time he's done folding it over, it looks like a fucking 1980s uh, workout sock. Dude, I can wear it as a bracelet so that way no one knows what it is. And then if I'm out somewhere and I want to jerk off, I could just remove the bracelet. And... Mm-hmm. They're Jack massive. vaping clam, man. <gasps> I do not have a store in Queens, brother. I'm not sure you that one. I'm uh, an online vape shop. Or online vape store, actually. So somebody's a lot of a couple of people have been asking about my juice. I do not have a juice. Um there was a, a juice that I had before that was with a door and that's been discontinued. And that was actually a mix that a door made for me and it was a collaboration and that ran its course. So now we no longer have it anymore. So I apologize if it was your favorite. Uh, but you know, there's lots of other choices out there. So, thank you. Uh, let's the gunmetal gun top side, nobody has that one yet. Yeah, I do have a picture of it. So if anybody wants to see the picture, do 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 do. Mm. Here it is. It's hard to tell. These are like rendered pictures, but this is sort of. It's hard to see. But you got That's the dark sweet. black top, dark black bottom, and then you have the gunmetal body. That is sweet looking. Yeah. But these are all the colors all lined up. Hell yeah, that gunmetal is nice. Yep. Uh, Carl Rattray. Carl Rattray, if you live in the United States, email me. Hit that juice at gmail.com. Anything else? Questions, uh, comments? Vape, when you bubble glass coming out, VaporDNA.com sells the bubble glass for the intake. If that's what you're asking. Oh, Mike. What about there the There we go. What about the rebirth? Nothing else. Shh. Okay. Shh. Shh. Sorry. I tried. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Nothing but love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>《20-Minute Outro》begins now. now. Ignition. <laughs> Outro edition. Do you really want to death? Steve, send me a picture of the rebirth. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty.
just like a lady! Lady! Mark has nice titties. I always get really thoughtful during this. Mmm, motherfuckers. Yeah, love you. <laughs> Look at Mark.